Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on our hip abductors and adductors, okay, so to make us stronger in this area of our body. So when we're running, obviously we get a lot of impact and movement, so we want to strengthen these up. So very easy, um, again, something you can do at home. So you need a band, a resistance band, and something that you can tie it to at home. So we're going to work on the abductors first, so on the outside of our hips, up around the hip area. Okay, so you're going to grab a band. Get it just over the bottom of your foot. Okay, your foot is level with where you've got the bands tied up. Okay, so from there you're gonna lay back. You're gonna pull this foot out. Okay, and as you can see, the band is trying to pull my leg in. So what I'm doing is really isolating this muscle, the abductor here. Okay, the abductor is to stop me from pulling, let my leg pull in. So from here, you're gonna pull the knee in towards your chest, straighten it back out. Okay. Back in and back out. And as I'm trying to straighten my leg out, the straighter I get, the harder it is to keep my leg from going out. So I'm really working this muscle, okay? On here, I'm really strengthening this area of the body. Okay, so you probably work, start off with three sets of 10 and then work up to, uh, up to sets of 15 to 20. When you get to that, then just move the body out a little bit further so you get more resistance and you become stronger. So once you've done that side, then what I would do is stay on this side of the rig or wherever you are at home, and then I would work on the adductors on the inside of the leg. So just save you from moving around quite a lot. So again, you're moving out, and then from here, so my leg is straight, the band is wanting to pull me in, so I'm having to work on here to keep the band my, from pulling my leg in. So exactly the same principle, pushing my leg out straight, back in towards my chest, and push it back out, and again, I would do exactly the same, where you would do 10 reps on this leg, 10 reps on this leg, turn around, and then just do the same on the others, okay? So really good for creating, um, as I say, some endurance and strength in here on our hips. Okay, from there, we're gonna move on to um, our hip flexors. So again, really good um, biomechanics of building endurance on our body, so when we do a lot of running, there's a lot of work done on here from that part, okay? So with this, again, I'm just gonna get the resistance band, okay, and from here, I've got a bit of pull on the band, okay? And I'm just gonna mimic, okay, how I run, up, and then down nice and slow, okay, and then up, hold, down nice and slow, okay? And so it's really sharp, all the way up, and then nice and slow, controls, on the way out, when you get to here, pause, okay? And again, you're working up to sets of 15, you will feel it in here. So you do 15 on one leg, 15 on the other, and again, I will work up to um, set of, yeah, sets of 15, and then again, the same as the last one, just as you find it a bit easier, just come further away from the, um, from the rig to create a bit more of a resistance. And again, these exercises will help prevent injury.